Hi. It's kind of loud because I got a print going on, but I wanted to show you a few things. My original DaVinci 1.0 broke another couple bearing mounts. They split. The two front ones this time. So I ended up printing my own replacement that I found on Thingiverse. Now here's a replacement bearing mount that I found on Thingiverse from Thingiverse user Brett4. Turns out there's actually two of these, one with locator tabs and one without. Now I originally printed the ones without locator tabs. People said it would work fine. Well, I found out it's really not the best way to go. But both of them have these sockets for these M3 nuts, so you don't have to use the self-tapping screw. And then it's got the center hole for the bearing and a post to the side for the spring to mount to. So now I'll show you how to replace the old bearing mounts. Okay, so this is the side I'm going to take apart first. I'm going to take this side off and you just basically pry up the top. And I already got that pried up. And then you just lift this right off. And then here's the two screws that hold the bearing. So I'm going to loosen these two screws. Now to get this out, I'm actually going to remove these two screws. So now I can pull this out <coughs> and get the, the bearing to come. So I'm just prying this metal out. And I just lost the spring, which is shot. <coughs> so I get that off the shaft. And now I've got the bearing and the broken mount out. Okay, so now I need to take this side off. I've got that bearing off, so now I pop this side. What I'm going to do is lift these blocks all the way down. And the side comes up. Now I'm replacing this one. And now I've got the other side, and it's definitely correct. Now I need to put the bearings in the new mounts. So here's the two bearings replaced. I just pushed them in. I took them. They practically fell out of these mounts. You can see it's one's cracked here, and the other one just, just completely fell apart. So I pushed them in with my fingers, and then I just finished it off. I had this little plastic piece that I had printed, and so I just pushed them down as far as they would go. Okay, so now I got the bearings mounted and I put the springs on and they fit, the springs fit really tight. So that's going to make it nice because I don't have to worry about the spring flying out. And now what I want to do is just get the shaft out. So there's the shaft with the, I, I took the belts off. So now all I need to do is just put these on on both sides. And then I can mount this inside, but I got to make sure the belts get around this before I, you know, tighten it up. Okay, so I'll put the shaft in. First, get the belts around it. And I actually have to go above the shaft here. The bearing popped off. Okay, so I got the belts on. Now the shaft is in place, and then I put the belt on the pulleys, and then I lined up the bearing mounts and just tighten the two screws. And then it should be all set. Now this is where I noticed a problem. I should have used a different mount. So I filmed that whole segment, did everything, put everything together, and realized I should have printed the ones with the locator tabs. There's two different ones on Thingiverse, and I printed the ones without it, thinking I didn't need it. Well, you need them. It makes it a lot better. Because the wall on these are thicker. And so the spring is going to put more pressure on it. And it wants to pop one way or the other. And the screws just don't hold it tight enough. So you want these locators. I'll put the proper file and the, a link in the description below. Here's a couple extra I printed. This still has the support material on it. Because I printed it that way with the tabs on the bottom and then I went back and I got the M5 or M3 nut and screw to hold it 
because the self-tapping screws that come with the DaVinci do not go into this as well. In fact, a couple turns and you'll probably strip them. So they're holding fine right now, but I'm going to go back and replace them with the M3 nut and a longer M3 screw. I don't even really have to do anything. Just take one screw off, put it in, and tighten it up. I don't have to take everything apart. So that'll be an easy fix. So I suggest you print a few extra of these so you have them on the side in case yours go bad. And print the right ones. Here's the tab bearing mounts with just the self-tapping screws in place. You can see they work pretty good. Now I will go back and put the M3 screw and nut in place. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And for those who have contributed to my channel, I got another couple big donations. You're helping to buy plastic. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I know it's anonymous. I still want to say thanks. Plus, I thought I'd show you real quick. Some people have asked how I film my time lapse. This is one way. So that's it. I'll see you next time.